Hello, 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 hello. Who that? Who? Whomst? Whomst? Whomst this? I'm Whomst here. This? With the red hair. <laughs> yeah, it's back. It's not good. It's back. But it is me. here. Don't be silly. It's good. It's good. I was left unsupervised. <laughs> oh my god. Should I? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of mid on it. Oh, I'll see when like the, the scalp die goes away. Um whether I like it or not. But I'm I'm kind yeah, of it's uh, probably just the scalp that's giving you weird vibes. It's just kind of mid. It's not as red as it usually is. But then my but then my brother was like, if it was any redder than this, I think it would look weird. Mm. So it's like It's who knows? very it's very Nimona. <laughs> I I don't know enough about that movie to understand. But I appreciate it. I mean, it basically, as a all I'm saying is that it kind of looks like her hair. <laughs> That's about Great. it. I think it looks um, cool. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank I you, thrive thank on peer validation. Thank you, everybody, for the good words. I had, lo I had lots of people yeah, yeah. DMing me, making sure that I was okay, which obviously makes makes your heart Fishy. grow ten sizes to be like, ah, yes. <laughs> I love my friends. I'm loved. Uh, you're wonderful people. I am. I'm better today. Better. Today. I, I was just and if not, <laughs> I'm talking too much. That hoo hoo, a uh, hoo hoo bird, <laughs> Pokemon distraction. Um. Oh, I will be doing that a lot today. By the way, I keep shorting mentally. I get sure. halfway through what I'm saying, and I'm like, "Fuck, it's gone." <laughs> no, that's fair. Yeah, um, um, yeah. I talked with Curls and basically gave her a rundown on what happened to me over the last few days. We validated some feelings and basically came to the conclusion of like, I've had alone time. Now is friend time. I need to be. It is time. With and of person. all people you could turn to in your life to be social, you of came to me. You must I be truly desperate. To to How, How dare you? How dare you? I miss my friend. <laughs> Your your days are numbered. You better be here soon, bitch, because you don't have an excuse anymore. Because <laughs> I'm gonna please, have like, a house. Please, like, if you do not turn up in this part of the country within forty eight hours, I will send a killer. Yes. I will send somebody. <laughs> Hi, Mars. I'm doing better. My friend is already making me laugh. So there you go. <laughs> Here's my job. I'm being cheered up by everybody. I'm a goofum. Yeah. I don't know how much art is gonna happen. Because I'm mainly. I here really want to make something. Tell I'm in that creative energy. I am in that absolute hell where I What do you mean who who escaped? Fuck you! Ring! Um, <laughs> I am in that absolute hell where for the last like 48 hours I've had like such creative impetus of like I'm very inspired and I want to make things. And I've just been sat vibrating. Like, I want to make something. What do I make? <laughs> it's a good thing we Which have I've a designated discovered, stream for this. I have discovered it's called creative overwhelm and it's a type of, type of decision paralysis. Oh. Which makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Lord knows I have suffered with that a lot in the past. Um. And usually the trick is for that is just pick something tiny and do it. Um, which, wait, that's a name. I literally found this out within the last 12 hours. <laughs> I Googled, I literally did that thing. I was, I'm, you guys can't see on stream, but I've literally, I've got a TV to my immediate left and I literally made a nest on my bed and I was just watching video essays I like because that's been in the kind of mood I've been in. And I've been reading some of my new poetry that I picked up this week. <laughs> Um, and I literally did that thing when, 
when you're mentally ill or queer, you know this, where you open an incognito tab and go like, is this feeling normal? Ah, uh, don't look at me. <laughs> so, so Blue, what did you recently learn about yourself last month regarding your sexual orientation? Don't look at me. <laughs> Google incognito knows too much. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally like googling like feeling of overwhelm when inspired or creative um and after a bit of googling articles started popping up like what to do if you have creative overwhelm and it's like it's not burnout it's, it's the typically opposite. what happens after burnout or the opposite of it yeah yeah it's the opposite where of it's burnout. like burnout is you you can't do anything you, where is that yeah, you have you a lot have, of ideas but no energy yeah <laughs> and now you have too much energy but no ideas um, but yeah, it's a type of decision paralysis. It's because you have so many ideas and so much you can do, and you don't want to commit to any one of them. God, that feels like me so much. I have so many ideas I want to do, and I just feel like there's too much to do, and I just do none of them. Yes, it's, that's decision paralysis, and specifically with art, it's, create, it's creative overwhelm is the name they use. These are like the fun art. If you want to go looking for articles about it, and for suggestions of what to do about it, those are the keywords you want to be using. Neat. We'll learn something today. That's the thing I was aware of, but didn't have a name for. Same. I just go, right, which one of these things can I do right this second? Let's go. Yeah. That's one of the good things that free writing is good for, because you don't keep it, so you, you're not precious about it, but you get the energy out. Yeah, that's what, like, quick doodles and sketches are for. Yeah, exactly. L low commitment, but creative potential yeah. I, 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 I explained to Kels before the stream that I was also in a similar situation today of like I wanted to I had energy as well that I wanted to put into something but I was not in a location where I felt comfortable doing it because yeah literally I was with my family and sometimes my family are a little bit hey what you drawing and I was not in the mood to necessarily draw stuff I wanted my family to see yeah because of the headspace I've been in no one be alarmed, but I'm about to be illuminated by the light of God, aka Google Docs. Oh no. <laughs> Time for the magic brush. But yeah, I've been reading through um, the poetry I obtained this week. In typical me fashion, I realised that I hadn't been out the house in a hot minute. Part, maybe part of why I've regained my creative energy is I actually left the house. Hey, um, it's amazing how that works, or, isn't it? Or left the immediate area around my house. Um, and I went into town, and the idea was that I would sit in a coffee shop and do work, which I did do, but then after that I accidentally missed my bus and went into a bunch of charity shops. And <laughs> Oops. Uh, that was the bit you were saying. The charity off. shops where I live are the best. There is no contest. Mm -hmm. End of sentence. Because rich people are the only people who can afford to live here. And so, if you go to the charity shops, it's all the rich people shit. Um, and I got, we have a, um, a secondhand books charity shop. Um, and I got a bunch of like old, um, what are they called? They're called like a agent or something. They're mm -hmm. basically like m those kind of poetry collections or, or writing collections that go out like quarterly. And they're ones from like the 80s. And one of them is a modern right Greek poet put next to ancient Greek poets. Oh. Which is basically for me. Um, and the other one is, uh, these are the, uh, there were only two collections in there uh, from this company. And I swear to God, they weren't from me from time traveling. Um, the other one was poets responses to water. <laughs> okay. Just, I'm like, I'm like, what? Are you part... sure about the time travel thing? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I'm not. Um, but yeah, so I picked, and they were both like 50p. Dang. Second hand books, man. Um, I also bought another ridiculous Victorian blouse. Excellent. We love it. Which. I saw it in a charity shop and I literally saw it and I walked directly up to it and I said, if you are not in my size, I'm going to cry. <laughs> because it is the most ridiculous David Bowie-esque shit. Yes. Like it labyrinth-esque, like it has the ruffles that go the whole way down. Like it, it's perfect. And the other thing I got was like a big, another big 
mini skirt that is like a oh actually it's here this guy let me turn it in the right way i had to take this one in and i didn't do a great job and i also put a pocket into it and i didn't do a great job of that either but i don't care it's got pockets now it does but it's just a big old hell yeah big skirt big old big old purple skirt it's like a purple red color it's fucking amazing and it's so comfy and it fits hells to the s yes. and i spent like six pounds total oof charity shops hot damn i knew das i knew you'd love that skirt i actually messaged you while i was in that charity shop and it didn't send Aww. and it, it like it like sent on discord and then i looked back in our message chain and it wasn't there and i'm really scared i've just sent a message to someone random discord's homophobic discord's homophobic i will say not just the das but in general if anyone enjoys femme presenting clothes um this is your reminder that it is july it's just after prom season if you want really pretty dresses on the cheap mm -hmm. everyone's getting rid of their prom dresses I'm just saying it's fair shout it's fair shout these are the hacks also frogger sent me an update which i should read not read perceive look out with my eyeballs witness me love that love so many things about that love that helmet obsessed metal plume i'm a big fan of that Plumes. fucking sparta ass helmet love it Big fan. Das, we need to do like a charity shop exchange. <laughs> this is like when you came over my neck of the woods and I took you both to these two shops and I was like, yo, we need to go here. I am once again asking for the squad to come here. <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely slightly sad that I'm moving away just because I'm moving away from those shops because I feel like while I was here, I didn't take advantage of them because I had no money. But to be fair, it is within driving distance, so literally we- <laughs> Frog, I've already been told. <laughs> literally, if we if we ever want to go back to those shops, we can, because they are very, Road much, trip. With, they're very much within driving distance. It's not even a long yeah. drive from my new place to here. It's not that long, not that far. So we can legitimately just, like, come back. <laughs> yeah. I'm aware of this lesbian run shop. I've been informed. Also, I gotta say, my favorite thing about my town, every fucking place I go, maybe it's because I dress like a fucking weirdo. I get compliments on my outfit every fucking place I go. It's because you have a great fashion sense, darling. I do. I know that. But I'm not expecting my tiny ass area to be like, you know whose fashion is fun? This obvious queer person. <laughs> <laughs> and not just by other obviously queer people either. Right. What am I working on? What are you oh, right. working on? I pulled, up, I pulled up Butterfly on the Wheel to see if I was at a good point. Yeah, you, came, you came here with a lot of creative energy. <laughs> I did, and I still have it. Don't worry about that. The, everyone possesses one brain cell. <laughs> oh, I see. I understand. <laughs> and I get it, guys. <laughs> A cult has formed in our chat without our consent. That's fine. Working on too many things. <laughs> Where is anything? Got me, me. 
all of my belongings are spread between four households at the moment. <laughs> four households. <laughs> What's a like in dignity? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, right, yeah. I don't know if y'all know this, but prose is really hard. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> writing writing stories. Writing, writing stories. Is hard. It's really hard. Hey yo, a partially partially unrelated, but that's how the ADHD brain work. There was a link in yeah, my there was a link in my brain, I assure you. Um mm -hmm. one thing I did not fully expect today um was my brother upon seeing me for the first time in several months with his wife saying Oh yeah, we need to play D and D. By the way, <laughs> I, I was like, I felt like a deer in the Which headlights. I need to play D and D. I felt like line. a deer in the headlights. I was like, what? <laughs> and you know what they said? They said we watched the D and D movie on the plane here, and I was like, bruh, I haven't seen that movie yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can't out nerd me. This is a contest that I'm meant to be winning. So they they want to play D and D, and they know literally one person who can DM, which is me. <laughs> well, good luck, bud. Have fun with that. <laughs> DM DM D and D for my brother and his wife. It's gonna be fun. Oh my god. I don't know when because Family I'm, I'm, I don't know when because I'm moving different. house, but <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> You gotta manifest that time somehow. Yeah. Oh god. I gotta do some work on D D. Do we wanna talk about D D? Because we're gonna be playing. Oh, right, we should talk about what the fuck we're going to play tomorrow. We oh, literally yeah. said we were going to talk about this we on stream. We said we would. Uh, we, 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 Mark, we, we, we had a break, bring up here. the topic, and immediately change the topic. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we, uh, we need to discuss what's going to be played tomorrow, because even though we're chat, starting... Let us know we're starting if you have D &D opinions. Again, but we're not, we don't have everybody available Yeah, we have tomorrow. to skip one week, so nothing that's going to take long. <laughs> yeah, we have one week of filler, filler game. Um... um the prerequisite is we need to already own it because that, that we we yeah. we've been saying for months we were going to play Bonk and then the move happened and I was like, Curls, I shouldn't be buying With video more. games." I've also made an ill-advised purchase today. Well, not purchase, but money commitment Decisions. today. Yeah, yeah. That so, was neither, taken neither off of the us remaining are purchasing new I had. games, and also that's not an excuse for people to buy games for us. No. I am, got, I trust am me. moving at the end of the week. I don't trust need games me. bought for me. I need actual real life money to buy food. <laughs> yeah. Me and Blue have plenty of games between us. We and you guys probably have games. a rough idea. We have them. Hades at you, hurry. More Hades at you. Me. I make a weird suggestion? Yeah. Of course. Duh. This is a safe space. What do you what do you think this is? A normal place? <laughs> All I'm saying is if y'all can't come to a decision, I'm gonna live stream fucking Sims 4 builds. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll all regret it. Blue will be there. I will be present. Physically. Scribe? I've been looking at Scribe. Unfortunately, that th there is the prerequisite of we already need to own it. I think s I do own Scribe. Oh, well, that's potential then. Think. If not, <laughs> I have one similar. Um, because I have yeah, that's a good point. I have a lot of RPGs that we could play, like one or two player ones. Uh huh. Uh, the only problem is with Scribe, and a few others is that because they're journaling games it doesn't like as i would watch someone write but i feel like y'all maybe not i mean we could play the quiet year quiet year could be good God, I just 
<sighs> I'm gonna say something and then immediately regret it. You ready? Uh-huh. I do have some RPGs that I can run that don't need prep. Oh no. <laughs> Uh oh. Hang on. <laughs> Let me do some investigation over here. Hold up. <laughs> First of all, because Alice is missing is 90 minutes. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> yeah, everyone, hold on. <laughs> hold up. Everyone, hit the brakes. Uh, no, you're not allowed to be grossly irresponsible. I have to be grossly irresponsible. This is how this works. I run a one shot, but like, I feel like if they're not like pre written one shots, they're never one shots, right? I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw like, it, I'm gonna throw it out there just to put a little attack in there. I don't know if necessarily doing one-shot RPGs is a good idea in my current mental state. No, it is an idea. Um, so that's on there. I do have, yeah. Alice is missing his time, but if not, what have we got? I mean, <laughs> me and Blue got shit. Don't worry about that. Uh, oh, I worked out that you can co-op Wildermyth. I did tell you that, didn't I? Isn't this a classic call-out for a straw poll? It's hard to make a poll because we can't decide what to put yeah, in Yeah, we can't the work poll. on the options. If we, we can work we out the we options, haven't decided we what to put in the poll. Um, yeah, I worked out that you can Wildermyth co-op through Steam. You don't need to... Oh, it's got the co-op thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the goal, Frog. We need to narrow it, narrow it down. Let's see. Ooh, anything the thing, we have a choice of anything in our Steam library that is multiplayer. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is there anything? Is it gonna be a thing of like we want something that's multiplayer, or do we want to do another thing like Dragon Age where one of us plays and what were you playing? I don't mind. <laughs> it's I one, don't mind I don't either. Know, Me and Blue day. are fucking terrible at making decisions. Well, yeah, can you see the decision paralysis? We, we, we have an entire. I we, mean, we have like four people's worth of Steam libraries between the two of us. Okay. To pick, to pick from. I'm gonna say something, and it's gonna be what people want. Is the problem? Uh huh. Do you want me to download Monster Hunter? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It'll be for one time. We did talk about this. I I have been gifted all of Monster Hunter, basically. So many games, yeah. Yeah. Me and Blue share a library with other people, but we do collectively have quite a few games we, 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 over like a long yeah. time we literally have a cluster steam library we we, we have four people who are all sharing steam libraries with each other so our steam libraries are large okay. so when i yeah when i click the button of like games that are installed it's still a lengthy list when i click the list of games that aren't Mine's installed oh huge. my god it, it's such a long list monster hunter time to find another one i'm down to do a wildermyth campaign if you are we can make Two OCs each and just play that. I try Wildermyth. I don't know much about it. Yeah. It's just, it's like DD, but it, it's piss easy. <laughs> Riven, my beloved. <laughs> okay. We've always got things like the Yorg or uh, Monster Prom and stuff like that. Monster Prom's a decent one. I feel like the York is, is like so short that we'd end up like being done in half yeah, an hour. We play whereas, it quite a few whereas Monster times. Prom has a bit more length to I it. We knew, I think I have Monster Road Trip. Oh my god, you know what we could do? We, ne we never finished Hustle Cat. Oh my god. Would you guys watch us play a dating sim for one stream? We never finished playing Hustle Cat. I have a bunch of them. Because <laughs> I have Hustle Cat. I also have. Um, Dream Daddy. Yeah, me and Kel, me and the girls started playing through Hustle Cat whenever I went to visit her, rather than she came to visit me. And we did two. Rooms? And we kept my roommates awake. 
with how hard we were laughing. Look, Haze is a sweet pea, and I named an OC after them. <laughs> yes. Haley Hayes, her nickname Hayes is from Hayes in Hustle. I was actually thinking about Esme this week. Oh my god, look at this art. <laughs> look at this art of graves. It's so good. I fully uh, Wildermith, uh, not Wildermith. Um, Hustle Cat's mostly gone from my brain, apart from uh, a real ass gun, bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real ass gun, bang bang. <laughs> Which is from Dodger. This is Dodger's hustle cat joke. Are we good with the three options? Or should we go for more? Oh, let's go with what else is there. What have I got installed? I mean, moment? we have a million things. Yeah. That's the problem. Bravely Default 2 is in there somewhere. It is. It sure is. Uh, I've got Spyro, good comfort game. Portal 2, Overcooked, Armello. I, yeah, Armello is a good shout. All, I love that game. Of, all of these are viable options. Cult of the Lamb, where you're just like fiving with me. <laughs> <laughs> you come over to my Cult of the Lamb? That's just what I got installed. Have you. This will only work if you haven't watched it. Have uh -huh. you watched The Pass Within? No, I don't know what that is. It's a Rusty Lake game. It's a co-op oh. Rusty Lake game. Oh, okay. I That's have seen it, but I it was a, a it was a while ago, and also there's two different routes, and I haven't seen one of them. Oh, okay. Oh wait, do I have it though? No, I don't. That's fine. F. I have other Rusty Lake great game games, but we got options. <laughs> Stardew Valley. Always a choice. We could, yeah, we could just carry on our Stardew Valley game that we have because we're dumb and we were like, what if we made a Stardew Valley game with our OCs who are also With the OCs dating? we were just talking about. <laughs> we made a Stardew Valley for our OCs who are dating so they can have a farm together. <laughs> okay. Let me do a pop. Frog has already made this drop. I mean, if we've got enough options for a Twitch poll, that's helpful. We do, yeah. Okay. Frog, do you mind if I disregard your hard work so I can do it in Twitch? I have notes. In what way? <laughs> notes about what? <laughs> about Monster Hunter. To be fair, I think my uh, my leading would be to Monster Hunter, but I am biased. Oh, you're finished just copying my homework. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, cool. That's a good poll. Hang on. Also, I don't know what we're doing. Uh, what? We plan. What are we playing? Tomorrow. What are we playing tomorrow? Because we got one. We got a one-week free slot, so we want something short or something that we can just do a one and done. Yeah, can't emphasize enough. We would only be doing one of these. Yes, this isn't a. We're doing multiple. Why is my rush after? I'm gonna have to drop one of these, I think. If there isn't, if there isn't, if there's too many to fit in a Twitch poll, then we'll use a straw poll. If there's enough for the Twitch poll, we'll use the Twitch one. I think that's one of them. It hasn't got monster promo. Because I can't put one more. So we can do straw. 
Frog, post your homework. <laughs> is it damn hot in the UK or is the heat wave just in Germany? You're asking me in blue, people who are famously bad about heat. It, I, it's, I, I can tell from looking at the temperature app that it's not like heat wave territory for the UK, but it is warm, but it's it very, warm. very humid. So it feels... Yes, it's unbearably humid. It feels very gross. Literally, a, if I look at the yeah. weather forecast, it's like storm, 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 storm. Yeah, like it's it's it it go it's gonna go up to like twenty, which isn't heat wave for the UK. Like twenty is fairly normal for for us, unfortunately. Um, but but the days. humidity is god awful. Like if if we're getting into thirties, that's when it's like we're having a heat wave. So it's it's not heat. I'm wave to but use pen. I got you, boo. The moment you posted it, I pinned it. Everyone vote on that poll. What am I playing tomorrow? What are we playing tomorrow? Blue's Unrela also here. Unrelated, this song is from a game that I know nothing about and have never played, but God, is it a good song. What song is it? Uh, Landlocked Heart. It's from Road 96 Mile Zero. Oh, I, I love Road 96. I don't know anything about it, but I love this goddamn song. I, I have it on something. No, I don't. I've, it's been on my wish list for ages. In 30, 32, the last few days, it's pain. Yeah. I'm, I'm having to adjust to the fact that there's a new <laughs> temperature average, and I hate it. What am I voting for? Oh, I want to play tomorrow. On this list. I mean, but part of the reason we're doing a poll is because we don't know. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, there's multiple ones on this list I'd be, like, down with you. Bedroom, all that stuff away. I'm gonna this I yeah. It's tied three ways at the moment. A drowsy has appeared. Stupid mobile won't let me click links. I don't know why. It's because Twitch wants you to stay on Twitch. It's that, it's that simple. Yep. Twitch wants you to stay on Twitch. Because on, on a computer you can click a link and open a new window, but on Twitch, in order for a link- on mobile, in order for it to open the link, it has to close the app, and Twitch does not want you to close the app. I cannot contribute as one vote for one IP address. Oh, interesting. I guess in the future we, we will have to use um, Twitch polls Twitch. for that reason. If it, ties, <laughs> if it ties three ways, I guess we do a second vote and then we can do that one on Twitch. Yeah. That's yeah, my fault, it, Soz. If it's get, literally yeah, fine, we didn't know until right now. If we get if we get a tie, then we can do a Twitch poll for the tie. You're probably really probably light, really light, light, but damn, is it super dark it, at times. Okay, it can be. Definitely not the vibe for tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, no. It's something about crossing a closing border, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Oh, interesting. It's a really great game. It's about basically every time... Is it kind of got a roguelite element? Roguelike, not light. Where every time you're a random young person, and basically you're in a country that's kind of falling apart, but also um is go undergoing a really like charged political election um and you're trying to get all the way north and then over the border and out of the country um and each time it's random in terms of who you are and also why you're leaving and also like who you run into on the way um and sometimes you run into like really cool chill young people communities that like just are trying to get by and like artists and hippies and sometimes you run into really scary people. It's like a good mix. It's a really good game. Did I just hear a knock on your door or was that me? Yeah. My brother has a present. Hang on. What is <gasps> gift! This? What is the gift? For once it's not Matilda. Okay. <laughs> no! Give me the cat! Excellent. I'm gonna bring you a gift if you want me to.
He bought me a J2O. J2O. <laughs> it's the watermelon and apple one, which yeah, is my new favorite. Yeah, the J2O spritz. Spritz. Bougie. Yeah, it's still tied three ways, so I'll, I'll hold, I'm hosting the the runoff. Yeah, if we've got a three way tie, put the, the three winners in the Twitch poll. I'm doing it. Hello, Casper. Yeah, my brother is here. He's also very tired because he went. He managed. He was able to go back to training today. He's been off for injury for a little while. Okay. Duration five minutes. Yeah, there we go. If anyone shows up halfway through. There it is. <laughs> Monster Hunter. <laughs> the Monster Hunter doesn't fit. That's fair. The runoff is happening in chat right now. Vote on what we're gonna do. It's between Monster Hunter, Hustle Cat, and Wildermyth. So if you've got a if you've got a dog in the race, commit. I'm assuming you voted Monster Hunter and I voted Wildermyth. Yeah. Poor Hustle Cat. F to a homie. Aw, poor Hustle Cat. <laughs> hey, it saves us doing eight voices. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we would have done voices. Wait, hey. there's another poll. More wildermyth. Yeah, mood. Yeah. Oh, it's tight again. Oh no, god damn it! It's and gone Hustle for another five minutes. And we, haven't so. even, we haven't even got a single vote in Hustle Cat, so we can't even eliminate it. If you guys, if you guys can't come to a decision, I will make it for you. God damn it, chat! Why can you never make a decision for anything? It has been like two years, and you guys can never make a damn decision. No, blue. No, no, no. They're only having to make this decision because we can't make it. Blue, I'm gay. Don't ask me for anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's a bunch of queers <laughs> where none of us could make a fucking choice. <laughs> Flip a coin. The thing is, because me and Blue are on opposite teams, we'd both be like, I don't know if I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> this couldn't have gone <laughs> more perfectly. <laughs> We're just going to hope someone shows up to chat late. I made a decision already on Monster Hunter and I would stick with it. Of all people, I would expect you to stick the most to Monster Hunter. It would be crazy if you didn't vote for Monster Hunter. What the fuck tense was I writing this in? Fast. What happened? What's going on? There's a runoff happening in chat, Frog, because the vote tied on our end. So we're running a runoff. It's in the chat. The only reason I wouldn't is for the promise of more Monster Hunter layer. That's true, you're moving up, you're using your Monster Hunter currency. Well, 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 I haven't voted yet. Choose wisely. Choose wisely, make a decision. Tell me about, Tell me about both, both games. Go God, on, then, Blue. God, Jesus. I mean, Monster Hunter, the clues in the name, but it has the very special thing of it's one of my, uh, you know, special topics of choice. So not only do I get to go hunt monsters with uh, curls, but I get to regale you with all of their lore, which I have memorized, because that's what my brain deems to be useful information to retain. 
Uh, but also, I'm, uh, quite, I'm kind of a bad teacher, so it will mostly be me slapping curls on the butt and be like, "Go on, go hunt it, go have fun," and I'll just be on the and I'll just be on the outskirts going, "It breathes fire." <laughs> uh, and Wildermyth is like a tactical D and D game where you get you put in your you get to make characters and then it generates either a pre made story or we'll probably do a completely random story. And it de generates you like a random D and D campaign with those characters, and fun things can happen. Basically, is how World of Myth works. Never ask me about Monster Hunter. It's like if you ask us about Warhammer, I've got worse. Hey! <laughs> Look, one of these days, I'm gonna really go off about Dragon Age. I got through the entire Dragon Age campaign without really going. You off. were very good through the whole of the Dragon Age playthrough. <laughs> I was very proud of you. No one follow me on Twitter when the new Dragon Age game comes out. You think I'm insufferable already? You ain't saying nothing. If you're gonna vote, do it now. Yeah. Uh, I guess also we can do this of uh there's a picture of Wildermyth and there's a picture of Monster Hunter. <laughs> They're very visually different. <laughs> yep. Look into your heart and know it to be true. V, you abandoned us. You abandoned us in our time of need. V, what would you have voted for? Speak now. Fuck it, we're not making a decision. You guys have to turn up tomorrow and find out. <laughs> this is it now. This is your punishment. We don't. You don't get to know what we pick. You just have to turn up tomorrow. That was probably a more fun way of doing it. Come come to my streams and feed the algorithm. You know how this shit works now. I'm sorry, V. Blue overrode you as the streamer. But good to know. I'll use that as fodder for my argument. <laughs> it might win. It might win tomorrow. I should have also followed my pitch with when you play World of Myth or multiplayer, you both get to use the mouse at the same time. <laughs> oh no. So it gets. It gets... It's gonna get heated, is what it's gonna it's get. Gonna... It's gonna get chaotic like, really fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine with that, to be honest. Yeah. We'll find, find out fair, more. Yeah. To be fair, if we don't pick Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter may still happen in the future because oh, yeah. because it's one of my favourite franchises, so I'm going to yeah. drag curls into it at some point. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. I've accepted that. It's going to happen a lot quicker if they do actually announce a world too, because I'll be like, bro, you need to play for the first one so you can understand. <laughs> yeah. Not that, they're, not that they're sequential in any way, but it's going to be one of those things where it's like, if I get you to play through World 1 and you like it, you might consider getting World 2 when it comes out with the rest of us. Well, the thing is as well, Monster Hunter is different when you play it with other people as it's It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely a game to play with people. Playing it on yeah. your own is nah, nada. I've Can't, tried. Uh, yeah, uh, I've, I, I have done solo hunts and they're fine, but the game is indefinitely more fun with friends in my opinion. It also doesn't tell you shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you need friends to translate what the fuck you're meant to be doing. What do you mean games come with a fucking tutorial? You've got a big sword, hit the thing with it. There you go. That's your tutorial. Which buttons? <laughs> Why is there a cat? What's this bug do? <laughs> <laughs> These are brief glimpses into the one time I picked up Monster Hunter with <laughs> Look, the Iceborne devs knew what they were doing. They were like, how can we improve on world? And they were like, I know, grappling hook. <laughs> and they were right. Um. Are we ready for clicky clackies? Clicky clackies? Hello, friend. Where were you? <laughs> God. <laughs> just, just pinned to the wall, you. <laughs> I can hear you saying that. <laughs> I do. 
Yeah, we ran a poll to see what we were playing tomorrow, and chat couldn't make up their mind, so now you have to come back tomorrow, and it's going to be a random yeah, pick well, from well, us. What a goddamn shocker, my chat couldn't make a decision. <laughs> I hope you all know each other. We're just fucking with you. Of course, the fact the fact that you can't come to a decision is in fact very it's funny. funny. It's a very funny reoccurring Comedy. bit. It's a very funny reoccurring bit. How's your um your Nuzlocke going, by the way? Uh, I missed... fr fr my friendship with Phoebus has ended. Quillava is now my friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, understood. <laughs> You had a friendship with Phoebus? No, I did not. <laughs> Does anyone have they a friendship even, with Phoebus? They didn't even let us get that far. It was randomized no. Nuzlocke and we went into Union Cave and Phoebus fucking appeared and we were like, okay, let's try and catch this goddamn Phoebus and then it poisoned me and I was like, well... <laughs> oh, no, that was the Relicanth. I was there for that. Oh, Phoebus. Oh, sorry, yeah, Relicanth. I was like, that was a fucking Phoebus? Go around Milotech. Uh, it wouldn't be because... Random, no, because it's random Evo. Yeah. Random Evos. <laughs> That's yeah, the way yeah. To do Friend it. friendship with Relicanth has ended. Quillava is now my yeah. friend. Yeah, uh, I forgot it was Quillava because I I know I won like two K points. Yes, because you, you voted for Fire Type. <laughs> it was Fire, but I wasn't there when you gave me money. <laughs> my okay. Twitch chat has discovered gambling. I already knew about this, but we didn't have a good thing to do with it. So. No, no. Uh, the random Nuzlocke was. I've lost the a great many thing. points on other streams. Yep. <laughs> to gambling. It's fish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember it's Relicanth because I fucking hate Relicanth because it's to do with the Reggies and then Reggie still just... And then Reggie still spawned and I was like, Curls, you manifested it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's even more dangerous in this stream because I'm very competitive and I have an incredible amount of points. Because I'm here all the time, chat. You can't hide from me. Kick. You cannot hide your ladders from me. <laughs> it was very funny to me that Spook put like 40k into one and lost it. Oh, a source buff. I like source buff. I do like source buff. The top tier grass Pokemon, in my opinion. Sourcebug was the one that in uh, Scarlet and Violet had the different seasonals. Yes, because they introduced that Press in kiss. they introduced that in uh, Black and White. Black and White instead of having well, it, not instead of, but as well as having a day and night cycle, it had a season cycle. Did it? How did I not know that? Because it didn't stick. <laughs> That's it, fucking okay. crazy. It didn't stick, and Sourcebug was the only Pokemon that acknowledged it. It's gorgeous in um, Scarlet Violet, where you have the different areas and you can find that. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like that in Scarlet Violet that the different zones. My favorite. I think my favorite one's maybe the winter one. Autumn. True. I do love autumn. I like the red tones. <laughs> Give me the warm tones. Mm. It's I funny to me that, that um, uh, the Pokemon Center do a line of plushies called Sitting Cuties, which actually is the Pokemon Center committee to making a plushie of every single Pokemon. And they committed because you can get the four different colors of Sourcebook as a plush. Yeah. They yeah. made them all Form decks, let's go. And I'm like, yeah, you can you can do that. Oh, hell yeah, I have a Sourcebook. I guess to come around to the uh, other topic that we were talking about again is um, do we have anything we want to say about upcoming D&D that we're going to be playing again or are we just stewing on it? That conversation with me? Yeah. I'm start. not making any changes to parks. I've not really had a chance to think about it because I don't have access to any of my D&D things. Right, yeah. So I've not really spared it a thought, I'm afraid. I have been trying to reopen the vault of Pox feelings. 
I think she's probably gonna be nastier. <laughs> not oh, no. as in meaner. Not as in meaner. Just like I I <laughs> I made Parks in The Sims, don't judge me. Um by making a vampire with a shadow form and the shadow form was Pox. And like every time I put Pox into a character creator, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> She's horrifying. <laughs> They are horrifying, That's like and I love the that point. for them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like because I spend so much time as their various hot sonas, I forget how scary they are. And I think I wanna, <laughs> I wanna embrace the scary, even if she won't. Yeah. I want to. Um. You know I've also, you know, working. been in therapy since I made. So mm, Pox be hitting different. That does make a difference to things. Pox do be hitting different. <laughs> Voted D and D character I've made who the most needs therapy. <laughs> Many years running, but yeah, no. I Pox is already a more elaborate build than I've ever done, and yeah, she's not. You multi you've actually very elaborate. <laughs> um. Like, th there's more thought I've put into their build than most characters. I actually, like, planned it a little bit. Um, and I'm already on that path. Like, I'm done with Bloodhunter. Um, and unless anything story-wise happens, mm. um, I know where I'm going. Um, the thing I'm trying to think about is I'm just... I've watched a lot more TNT <laughs> since we last played, weirdly. And I, I'm trying to think of story things with each other character. See, I, well, like, I, I'm the opposite in that I've consumed less D&D. Yeah. In, in the six months, like six months ago, I was. Well, that's kind of why I'm. Content. I'm aware <laughs> that it's abnormal how much D&D I've consumed. So it's like I'm trying to think of, it, if not like a story thread, at least like something, some kind of relationship detail mm -hmm. with every other character. So Absolutely. that I can yeah, remember a way to, a way how to, to engage RP. with everyone. Yeah. Because we're all gonna be rusty as well. Yeah. Including me. No, that's a that's a good a good thing. It's why, you know, it's why I would have tea time with Blue, you know, back in the old yeah. days. Because it'd be like, you know, I want I want to engage with everybody and this is a good platform to have a conversation with someone. Of like, mm -hmm. we're not necessarily going to talk about something, it's just we are here to talk and stuff comes up which then evolved into like uh you know the fireside chats with kiraka kirak just be you know sitting yeah. by the campfire at night and being like so what what you doing how's things <laughs> <laughs> not good great <laughs> same I... <laughs> sorry it's like i'd rather die than express an emotion um <laughs> have i got good news for you <laughs> <laughs> Can I offer you a bird in this trying time? <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> me me to every character you ever make. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, I've been getting there. Um, it's going to be interesting. Hello, it's currently night time, aka RP time. You get it. Exactly. That's what it's for. It's important. Keep remembering the RP that we had in the last session about car and like losing it in my brain. <laughs> I'm so happy y'all know that law now. It's good law. I don't have to be every time Andre's in a scene, I don't have to be thinking like, how do I drop this? <laughs> I'm so happy I got to experience it. It was you. You were the one. Got to know Andre's tragic boyfriend backstory. That's <laughs> far too many low thoughts since he won't shut up. <laughs> Man. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I keep having to remind myself that I'm stuck as Prosper at the moment. <laughs> like I keep forgetting that part. Well, I'm, just... I'm not actually stuck as Prosper. 
God, people who don't know who my D&D character is are probably so <laughs> fucking confused. It's going to be so baffling them. for everybody. It's going to be a wild ride. All the people who have come and joined my community since we last played D&D, you guys are in for a trip. Because honestly, if it's a character honestly, that starts with P, I probably am that person. Uh, just changeling things. <laughs> um... Ooh, very nice, Daz. Um, yeah, yeah. Because Park is hard to explain from day one, and they've only got more fucked up. <laughs> yeah. In she terms of happening. like what's going on with them physically, I think Pog's is interesting because more than any other character I've ever played, things that go wrong with them express physically mm -hmm. right like her psychological shit has a big impact on how she literally looks and functions yes. and that's interesting that's fun we like yeah. that and it's just fun to play like a to literally explode <laughs> yeah yeah it's just fun to play like an ooze person I, I, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm coming back into Pox as well when Pox will shift in front of people. Yeah, now you, now you I've had some freedom transformation to, ideas freedom and y'all ain't gonna like it. <laughs> I'm trying to I, come I, back I, into my little shit era. See, I, I just enjoy the, the coming into the mental state of a character whose like whole thing is that nothing surprises them. Yeah, nothing surprises them and everything is overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything is overwhelming, but everything is, like, just so... There's Tuesday. so much, yeah. <laughs> like, Meanwhile... Literally, literally the only person in the group who is literally just like, you're a slime person? Cool. That, that's good. Good for you. Fox isn't actually a slime person. No, we're I just mean that we're she's, mean. like... She's, like, made of putty. She changes her shape. Yeah. yeah. Amorphous. What a great word. Thank you. Oh, to not have a form. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be amorphous. To be fair, me, I, Pox. Oh, to be amorphous. I did laugh the other day because I was literally going through my art folder. I can't even remember what I was looking for. Um, and I found, I found this. Um. I found this again. <laughs> um. <laughs> me, baby. <laughs> The best meme ever made, you mean? I love <laughs> Y'all who joined, y'all who have started following Blue since we haven't been streaming D&D, this is the session. This is what we're doing. This is the plot summary. <laughs> this is what's happening in D&D. This, right? is, this is how I summarize my D&D character. For those who small depresso. Depresso. Hey, can, I have, can I have a small depresso, extra, please? Extra small depresso, please. And I have an extra small de uh, depresso with uh, an extra shot of vanilla and uh, can I get it as a dark roast so it has less caffeine in it? Thank you. It does also come hand in hand with this picture as well, which is also very good. Behold the dichotomy of my character. I thought you were going to say the dichotomy of man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm impressed at myself of how well I painted over this into the scene. <laughs> oh yeah, the perspective on that is amazing. <laughs> it's just, just reminding me of when I drew it on my fucking chalkboard. That's her babysitter, guys. That's her babysitter. <laughs> That's her. <laughs> she is a child. She's just a little guy. She's just a baby. Meanwhile, me. She's just a baby. <laughs> I just remembered what's on my show right <laughs> Oh no. I just saw you <laughs> glance over. Um, I was reading, um, this is the most fucking student else academic shit. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, I was reading, I picked up one of the things I did pick up in that charity shop that I didn't mention because it's too pretentious, is that I found uh, clearly someone's old uni copy of um, Roland Barthes 
which is like a one of the, one of the academic y you know, you only read it if you hate yourself kind of person, but it's uh-huh. a collection of his essays that are like two pages long and it's really funny because they if, if it had been written in one day they would just be tweets. Like <laughs> their thoughts on completely random subjects. It's really funny. But one of them was about writers on holiday and how terrible they are at being on holiday. <laughs> and part of his point was that writers are bad on holiday because you can't stop being a writer because it's a way you approach the world and something you actively do in your brain all the time. And one of the things he said made me laugh so much I just had to put it on my phone. <laughs> Which is, one is a writer as Louis, Louis the Sixteenth was king, even on the commode. <laughs> <laughs> even when you're taking a shit, you're even still a artist. Yeah. <laughs> You can't stop being one just because you're taking your shit. There it is, everybody. Art. <laughs> just occurred to me that it's not 16, that is in fact 14. Uh, num- two numbers I've been getting mixed up a lot recently. <laughs> Oops. In, I- in Roman numerals. I wonder why. <laughs> Final Fantasy. <laughs> Every time I scroll past a tweet and I have to work out if I'm going to rapidly scroll past it or not, I have to stare at the numerals for a second and go, okay, really read those. (laughs) Which order are they in? (laughs) Left is 14 and right is 16. I know that, but when I'm quickly skimming through... I know. Y'all think I can't read Roman numerals? I used to write all my numbers in Roman numerals when I was a kid because I was the only one who could understand them and I wanted to flex. (laughs) Basically just like, haha, I'm basically writing in code. (laughs) I'll catch Meditite, sure. I'll leave it. What? What do you got against Meditite? I have nothing for or against Meditite. <laughs> Neither do I, but so I'm I like saving like... my Pokeballs. I want money. I'm always here. I gotta say, this is a pivot. Uh-huh. Topic pivot. My writing, I don't know if it's changed or just like, I've truly just allowed myself to go into the themes I've always wanted to. Is anyone in chat familiar with the game Bramble the Mountain King? It is a game I am absolutely obsessed with. Even though I have not played it myself, I've just watched people play it because I'm scared. It is... I... (laughs) Afraid not. It is a horror game, I guess. It's a spooky game that is entirely based around um, specifically Nordic fairy tale. Oh. And you are a little kid called Ule, who um, his older sister Lillimore, after being told uh, like a spooky fairy tale and sent to bed, she sneaks out the window into the woods in the middle of the night against their parents' orders. Mm-hmm. Um, and like warnings to be like whatever you do don't go out at night um and Ule who is tiny is like 10 years old um sneaks out the window after her and they go through a bunch of like horrific and some some sweet and nice uh, like most fairy tale some sweet and nice and some very scary um uh, uh, adventures um and it's so me it's painful (laughs) and it's so good it contains a truly staggering amount of trigger warnings i will warn anyone who wants to go play it but it is so good i can't believe no one else is talking about it it contains a remix of the song um mountain king what did i say it was something in the mountain king um that is so good (laughs) like the sound the whole soundtrack for it is fucking amazing and like, just like 
so much thought goes into every like shot in that game mm -hmm. like it's composed you know and it has like the feel of like storybooks you read when you were younger that scared you oh man i'll find a link to it and also like i like nordic fairy tale like i like cauldra and like um Nixies and things like that. Um, it's currently on sale right now. Sick. Mm. Great that I'm talking about that. I, but since I have watched this, all of my stories have been like back to their roots of what I used to write, like, which is like all fairy tale y and like a little bit spooky even when it's nice. I love it. Also, the design for the Holdra is so good. It's like my dream character. Mm. It's like a, it's the if you look at the cover art, it's the woman in the cover art who's like silhouetted by the moon with the antlers. Oh, she's. She, I mean, she lures. She's basically Nordic siren. Like she lures men into the woods and kills them. Like it. And she has like an exposed, like, but in like a designy way, not like a horrific way. She has like an exposed heart, like her chest cavity. Oh. <laughs> I love this game. Also, I've realized anyone familiar with my OC Wild was almost definitely a Nekin or Nixie, whatever you want to call them, mm -hmm. before he gave up his Fainus. That was a hundred percent where he was. Because they are, um, they're kind of siren adjacent, but unlike in other mythologies, they tend to be friendly. They live in ponds. They are in some stories protectors of water lilies, oh. and they either sing or play on fiddles or lyres or whatever. Um, these like beautiful songs, and if you give them gifts, they will teach you the music. But if you disturb the pond or the wildlife or some in some mythology, specifically the wildflowers, um, they will fuck your shit up. Nice. <laughs> um, and I'm like, that's definitely what wild was. <laughs> but yeah. If I throw my sword in, do I get a better sword? Uh, kind of. There's no basis for a system. There is a very cool sword in this game, I will tell you that. <laughs> okay, I will clarify as well. One, The first tag on this is horror, so it's definitely a horror game. <laughs> Even though I was like, is it a horror game? It is, yes. Overwhelmingly positive reviews. Even if it's not your shit, watch playthrough a bit or listen to the soundtrack, because the soundtrack is so good. It's so good. Is it a horror game by Curls standards or other standards? I hesitated to call it a horror game, but everyone else would call it a horror game. <laughs> she was unsure, but Steam definitely gives it the horror tag, so yeah, it's yes. a horror game. <laughs> it's a horror game. It definitely, I think, it's not so much a horror game in that it's like, the themes are kind yeah, is is more of like a dark themes, like a lot as anyone knows who's looked into folktale or fairy tale for like more than 30 seconds knows, it's often quite fucked up. Um, because a lot of fairy tale and folklore is making sense of horrific and fucked up things. Yes. Um so that's where a lot of why bad things happen. Yes. That's where a lot of the horror comes from. Rather than like jump scares and things like that. Everyone else, oh my god, that's so scary! I can't play this. Kills, well, that's hilarious. Um, I'm I, to be, in my disclaimer. I don't know if I'd be able. To, I would probably would be able to play it, but like, um, I watched someone else play it because I thought I wouldn't be able to. Because I'm terrible with horror games, despite my reputation. It's just that my, um, my standards for what's upsetting are very 
Orcs. But I'm well, terrible with like. Where is the going, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to talk about that on stream. Uh, <laughs> it's hard. Um. <laughs> Look, you can wish. You can do what I've done, Das, and make a, a things I want to run list. Because that's what I've got. Lists are good for the brain. And it's like, that means that if, you know, an occasion arises where we have a slot and we want to run something, yeah. I can just be like, list. We're about to enter the TTRPG renaissance where we start playing a bunch of stuff again. That's what I want. These are assets I want for pop. Oh no. I have one thing like that. It's in, it's actually, I have it imported into Roll20 and it's an audio file and it's just called, if I ever get to play this, I am so happy. <laughs> That's not a joke. That's I'm real. I'm like, but what does that pertain to? <laughs> <laughs> what is it about? <laughs> and it's been in there since almost the beginning. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, the reason I brought up Bramble is because I'm writing about a fun witch hag lady right now. Yeah, the I would avoid those kind of things. It's just not worth the little insular oh, yeah. communities that are just there to upset you. I'm amazed that you're in a Discord that has a politics channel because I am yeah, not, in, I'm not in a single Discord that has a politics channel. Oh, I'm sure I am, but hell will nah. I ever go in there? I ain't nah. looking at politics. Hell no. Nah. Never talk about politics or anything. Although I will say, this isn't a politics thing, I promise. If anyone wants to do something good with very little emotional, uh, not emotional, but like time commitment, the newest Vlogbrothers video has like a good call to action and it takes like 30 seconds. If anyone just needs to do a good thing. But I'm... <laughs> I'm being good. That's not political, that's fuck capitalism. <laughs> yeah, that's someone trying to patent a medication. <laughs> now. So, so that people can't have it, it's like, fuck yeah. off. <laughs> Yeah, V, I get it. I get it. You gotta back off. They, they're just nah. there. They're just... Uh, what's the thing? Don't wrestle with the pig. <laughs> you both get covered in shit and the pig likes it. Mute it and step away. Yeah. I'm sorry about going off on Bramble. For like... Nah, it's good. Don't apologize. I've been watching, um, I've, I've watched so many Jacob Geller video essays today, <laughs> and I'm just like, thinking about games, but in the, the good, good way, in the, the brain thinky kind of way. I am once again considering making video essays, is what I'm trying to say. Yep. All my homies hate capitalism, you know it. Same though, about which part? Video essays or Jacob Geller? If it's about Jacob Geller, we got a conversation. <laughs> I want to get into making essays, they always seem so inspiring. It's so funny because I would be making video essays about video games to put off doing essays about books. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a truly astounding combination of things. But yeah, if anyone, like, I know I talk about Jacob Geller a lot. I know I do. I just love his videos. His videos just get me. Uh -huh. um, but he, his most recent video from like a few days ago was about games that, God, how do I explain this? Where like, it's trying to give you 
the illusion of an infinite or massive space, but in doing so, accidentally actually have to make that space. And it's like a crazy... So it's like my favorite um, boss fight in Dark Souls is in an infinite hallway. And they clearly couldn't work out how to make it loop. So they just stacked thousands of this hallway. Like if you glitch through the terrain, you can just see it going off into the distance. It's crazy. Wow, okay. But it's like this thing of like, you're trying to create an illusion, but in doing so, you didn't do it through trickery. You didn't do it through illusions. You did it by making it. You made the illusory real, <laughs> but you have to then sell that it's a trick. Because if they know that's how you made it, it would just seem stupid. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. I am gonna like Jacob Gallows and Jim Sharp. I internally know no one's gonna say it. I have this exact issue. <laughs> this is, yep. I struggle a lot working in a medium where you mostly no one sees anything you ever make. Actively on this stream, I struggle with that. <laughs> like, I work almost exclusively in mediums where you can't really post anything about it. You can't really post it because it's just a big block of text and no one reads that. And like, you get the sort of like, that that feeling of like, why am I doing this if no one's gonna see it? And that's stupid. Because that's not the point of art. Mm -hmm. That's fucking capitalism. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's coming again. Get out of Again, here. get fucking get out of here. You know, literally mm. one of the, and the zoo the god killer's killer. arrived. God killer. Everyone get in here. I'm gonna need to buy more great balls. <laughs> <laughs> you put it immediately like great ball, we know what you can do. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's really shitty. Like you know, I had a bad day yesterday, and obviously I was very sad for the main reason. And then, like, I went and had a cuddle with Spook, and he's like, you okay? And I was like, no. And then he's like, do you want to talk about it? And I was like, blah, 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 blah. And then, also, I now feel bad, because I was so sad I didn't do work. <laughs> and, I feel, and I feel bad that I didn't do work. And, of course, he's just, like, gently howls of, like, no. No, no. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> Bet on which Pokemon shows up next in the community game. Christ. If someone got that, that'd be the hypest shit. That's what we're doing now, cool. That's what this is. Can I just say, by the way, this pixel art you're fucking doing is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> like, it's crazy like i can only see like a tiny version of it which is obviously the point but like that's fucking insane thank you it's a bo it's a boss for a, a video game considering i've never seen you do it before that's madness that you've had this, <laughs> this skill is... and just not done anything I know, with it. it's, it's so funny to me sitting here and being like this is probably maybe the third sprite i've ever made that's fucking madness <laughs> But I will say I it's, didn't it's, catch it's... the god killer. Haha, <laughs> I got a god killer. Is this any good? Oh, I can't even see if they're any good. It's level four. It's mid. Solid mid. It's yeah. EV, the IVs are horrible, bad, good, 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 average. So it's it's decidedly mid. I'll take mid. Well, I won't because I didn't. The Lycan it. Rock I caught the other day is fantastic. Literally fantastic, average, fantastic, good, one horrible, and good. And I'm like, I'll take that. I truly wish I could work out why the extensions. Are for me. I don't know. It's probably like 
conflicting with another extension that you have. Yeah, like, probably. Like I only have two for Twitch, though. What, what Twitch extensions have I got? I've got one, which is just better TTV. Well, I've got BTTV in the pronouns chat. Oh, yeah. No, it's slower down. Yeah, I've got both of those. Weird. Don't know. Don't know. Interestingly, it, I believe the panel works on mobile, so you might be able, you might be able to access the panel on the Twitch app. I somehow doubt that. Yeah, also, it's my it's the third original sprite I've made. Because before this, my history in spriting, uh, when I was you know a wee babby, was uh, Pokemon and Digimon sprites. Uh, which I wouldn't make from scratch. I would do recolors and fusions, and I even got uh, decent enough to it that on the forums that I frequented, because that's the era we're talking about, uh, I opened up requests. Because, you know, I was like a kid, so the thought of taking commissions didn't even cross my mind. But I opened up requests, and people gave me them, and I did them. Because I just had fun doing the art. <laughs> So I was just like, hey, here's, a, here's a fusion that I did of a Charmander and a Pikachu, because somebody asked for it. Sick. And I, like, here's a, here's a recolor of Charizard's fire red sprite, but if it was blue instead. The Digimon sprites were wild because they are actually considerably more detailed than the Pokemon sprites are. You're on mobile. Click out of chat and click the in the chat would be. Investigating. Oh yeah, I've made the FNAF sprites. I did forget about those. Okay, this is maybe my fourth original sprite. I made these! You can see that they've got about 16 pixels between them. <laughs> you know what's wild about this is this is for sale on Redbubble as a sticker. That's and, true. And people are still buying it. Every once in a while I get an email from Redbubble to be like, you've made 10p because someone bought your sticker and I'm like, still? Why? <laughs> Still? Okay. Sure. Like I don't, I don't mind. You, you can just keep doing that. But I'm just like, wow. Okay. I think the Pokemon pixels I did are so old that I legitimately don't have them anywhere. I'm investigating. What are we talking about? We're talking about. Sorry, I just threw the copy. <laughs> uh, talking about we're sprites. talking about Seven Up or Team Sprite? Oh, oh, oh sorry. I didn't Neither. Tw I had Twitch chat closed because I was looking for the sprites. Different lemonade. Actual lemon flavored lemonade. Lemonade, yeah. Schweppes. <laughs> no. Schweppes isn't lemony enough for me. Like cloudy, le give me like cloudy oh, ass lemonade. cloudy lemonade. I was about to say, you're not a goddamn San Pellegrino person, are you? No, that's also not lemonade. <laughs> no, that's a punishment. <laughs> give me the shit that tastes like lemon sherbet. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm if I'm in like the Tesco fizzy drinks aisle, I'm probably going for ginger beer or. If it's like a branded one, I'm probably going cherry or diet coke. Personally. Oh god! Oh god! I, I opened up a file that was labeled "old art things," and I was like, "Oh, there's some ancient stuff in here." And I clicked on the picture, and I physically recoiled from it. I was like, "Oh god! I drew that, and it's so old, and it's so bad." 
I've given it permissions on my phone. Hey, Will it now let me see maybe, it? Who knows? Maybe. It was also just like a much smaller icon than I was expecting, which might also be part of this. Am I just blind and stupid? Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what Sprite you're, you're drinking. This is where I look at my Pokemon and all of them are bad. I'm now here just like, I'm in the ancient sins. I found artwork from 2010. Oh no. Ancient sins. Ancient, ancient sins. sins. Don't make me dig out my work from 2010 because we will, this will be bad. That shit's not coming on stream. That's a, that's a thing for like, hey, if we hit a landmark, I'll show my really cringe old stuff because God. Readings of my old work. Hey, you know I memed about all my Pokemon memes. <laughs> oh no, my Luxio is good. Time to close that. I didn't find what I was looking for. And I still haven't found. I'm looking for. Yeah, oh my I god, my Palosand has horrible special defense. How? Neat. There, there is an item you can buy in the shop, which is a uh, stat reroll. I need them for like all of. I know. All of my Pokemon. It's just like actual Pokemon of like, oh, these random IVs are really weird. My best Pokemon is a Golduck, I think, which has good, fantastic, average, fantastic, good, and one perfect in the speed. My gold duck is randomly really, really good. I'm gonna padlock that so I don't accidentally get rid of it. Sorry, I'm doing inventory management. Inventory management on this stream? Wild. Yeah, my best Pokemon is a Luxio that has average, average, good, good, fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> nice. Now you can see what the weekly quests are as well. Weekly quest. Yeah, There's weekly quest. It's the thing that looks like a little t tick box. Catch bug types, wonder trade fire type Pokemon, use a super effective move, miss a catch, which gives you a cherim, and win easy stadium battles. There you go, that's an easy one. Win five easy stadium battles. It gives you a mood mint, which changes your Can't believe nature. they finally did it, the mad lads. What? They've given me Pokemon Go for people who don't go outside. <laughs> It's for Twitch streams! Yay! <laughs> Great, now I know that works on my phone. I just bought more Pokeballs. Y'all talking about FNAF in this chat? Before, we talk about FNAF quite a lot here. <laughs> what year is it? Oh no, the movie's gonna be coming out at some point. <laughs> and it looks good? Question mark? Well, the animatronics look good. I can't vouch for the movie itself because we haven't even had a trailer. Because <laughs> we were like, it's PG, so we're not going to get any crunchy bits. Oh. Yeah, everyone was like, well, what's the goddamn point? I still hope for a Markiplier cameo. That'd be crazy, Nanji. I know, right? There's a lot of movies coming out in the moment that I'm like, there's some really obvious cameos. Matt Pat should be there. Just, just YouTube's already made the FNAF movie. It's called the FNAF musical, and it's on Random Encounters. Is that what the channel's called? Was it? I don't remember. I still love a couple of musicals. I did not know that Markiplier was making a movie. Yes, Markiplier is also making a movie. It's based this on Iron Lung. 
Like the disease? No, the, the, the video game. Of all the games okay. that Markiplier has played over the last, like, ten years, that was the one that he's like, I'm gonna make a film out of it. Sick. Apparently he's already finished filming it and is in the editing stage. Sick. <laughs> and he tweeted out, because Iron Lung is about being in a submarine in a ocean of blood, uh, he tweeted out, what's the record for the most blood in a film? Just asking. <laughs> Yep. And then afterwards, like an hour later, he was like, okay, cool, I think we've won. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I was like, hmm. Sick. Yeah, it's feature length and it's going to be in cinemas, apparently. I look forward to watching video essays about it. <laughs> I literally watched another video essay about a movie I like today. Yeah, I think I've watched more video essays about the Grand Budapest Hotel than any other piece of media, which is crazy. Just because people got a lot of thoughts about it. It's also a really good movie. You know what? I don't actually need this to be the <laughs> I feel that, Das. I feel that in my soul. Me about once every four months when I just download a bunch of free maps. It's like, will I ever use this? I don't know, but there's a possibility I will. <laughs> there's a chance I will need this exact map and then I will be glad I got it. Yeah, with stuff like that, you have a big team working on it anyway. So even if Mark's busy, his team will be working. spawn you're preparing for me getting into um crowd control rogue <laughs> i'm specking pox the way i spec my snipers in xcom <laughs> okay Garbador? Mug now Garbador? What is happening? It's funny, there was a quest for poison types right now. The knight atop the manor? Yes, I do. Star spawn. I'm, I'm about to tell you something, and I don't know if that's going to upset you. Of, uh, I watched the Pokemon anime, and it's te technically pronounced uh, Garboda. Not Garbador. Yeah, there's not another R, there's not another R in there. Garbodor. So yes, that makes sense, yes. We will be saying Garbodor, and it's like, nope, incorrect. There's, Gar the, it's B-O-D. There's, no, there's nothing else in there. Garboda is what they say in the anime. I will never say it correctly. Uh, I will never say it. Being a Pokemon fan is all about saying things incorrectly. I, I watch it, and I've been watching recently, uh, Just I, I just watch a lot of them. Um, I was going to say Brett from Super Couch Fires. Not anymore. Um... Brett from to Beer Brothers. Um, I watch him play Street Fighter. I watched him play a lot of Street Fighter Five, and I've been watching him play a lot of Street Fighter Six. Um, and uh, I was watching him play the other day, and I was talking in a chat, and he was playing um, Zangief, and uh, they were like Zangief wins, and I was like, who says Zangief? Everyone says Geef, right? Is it not Zangief? And everyone was in chat like, ah. Oh, it must be your first time. <laughs> <laughs> Every Street Fighter game, they pick a different way to say it, uh, and they don't all agree. Yeah, like, again, to come back to Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter has basically never had voice acting, and then in World we had a bit, and then in Rise it was, like, fully voice acted. In, in World, the handler came up and said, oh my goodness, it's a T-Grex, and the entire fandom went, nope, you're wrong, you are incorrect, that is a Tigrex, it is a tiger Rex, you are wrong. I'm sorry. Capcom doesn't know how to pronounce it. It's, it's the same as when people went up to Uno and Uno, and they were like, you don't know how to play your own game. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like, I incorrect. need to make a compilation of me reacting to the way people say things in your Because <laughs> <Georgia. laughs> they standardize how you say things after Origins. 
that in Origins they didn't. <laughs> yeah, you re you recoiled at a few things in, in Origins. Yeah. What was the one? The Tevinter Imperium one? Uh... Minrathus. <laughs> Minrathus. <laughs> what? Min you mean Minrathus? <laughs> Minrathus. That was it. It was another R. Yeah. Yeah. Arceus has canonly had about four pronunciations. Oh my god, yeah, that debate. It's had four different it's I had am. four different pronunciations. Yeah. Like, like Arceus, I think, I think Arceus. I, Yeah, I think the Pokemon company has Arceus. now settled settled on one, but obviously the damage is done. Yeah. I regret the council has made a decision. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just funny because obviously all Dragon Age games are very voiced. And then, especially because I played 2 and then Origins. So, like, going from very standardized pronunciation to being going into the Wild West. Fucking all a fan. Hate that shit. I can't imagine if they didn't standard it, standardize it now. Because the amount of different ways I would have heard the word Evanurus is astounding. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine having seen that word that's mostly vowels and then the letter V. <laughs> I can only really imagine. Need more dragon eggs like yesterday, man. <sighs> I've noticed a re <laughs> people may have noticed that I message have noticed that I'm doing this. Recently I really had an issue where <laughs> I think so much faster than I could possibly type or speak <laughs> that I keep skipping the middle of sentences. Like I used to do it with the odd word here and there. Like, especially like connectives like is or as or was or whatever. I used to just skip them. But recently, I've been like typing the first half of the sentence and then the end of the sentence. And I don't notice until I go back and I'm like, what? This sentence doesn't make any sense. It's because I've literally like tried to keep up with my brain and then my brain overtook me and then I just skipped to catch up to it. And I keep doing it. I can and I don't... relate to that. I don't do it so much when I type to people, but I have been known to do that while talking. Yeah, well, doing it by talking is how people with ADHD communicate to each other. <laughs> we make, <laughs> we're playing 8D chess with our conversation topics. Um, like my Pokemon nicknames. <laughs> yep. And it's like... Feeling. Yeah, that's good. Um, but I keep doing it with when I'm typing, whether I'm typing, you know, this story that I'm writing or when I'm typing people, I keep just sending like, a, it'll be like a six word sentence and I'll send four out of six words. And it's like, no, those, those words are integral <laughs> to the function of the sentence. <laughs> English major. Yep. My brain goes so fast. Go so fast! Fucking Sonic in my head.
Why did I commit to writing this in the style? This concept for the story is very cool. I hope I finish it. <laughs> I started it like four weeks ago, forgot about it, and now I'm coming well, That's just like a little thing that you're like dangling over over our heads. Hi, Diglett. Hello, Diglett. Doing as well as we can. Yeah, as best we can. Fuck, I forgot part of the reason I was putting this off because I need to name this character. Ah, of course. Oh, perfect song to come on right now. Music's so familiar. Uh, this is, this, Phoenix, is right? an, this is an a cappella cover of a Phoenix Wright song. Objection! You know, that game. Yeah, you know. You know, like Phoenix Wright? I nearly picked up Phoenix Wright recently. <laughs> They'd had the, like, trilogy on sale on Switch or something. And ah, I was like, right. Like, no. And they thank God good, I didn't, because it games. meant I had money for more important games. More once, once in a decade. Thing. I mean, if you want to play Phoenix Wright... <clears throat> I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> what the fuck was I looking for? Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, right. I love Fantasy Name Generator so much. Um, this sign. generator clearly has a lot of... Um, <laughs> Toe Pratchett input. Yes! <laughs> Not what? really what I need, though. What did you just get? They're all just very strange. Arabelle Dupree? <laughs> Not Ursula La Rogue? Not far off. A A A Adorabelle Deerheart is an actual character in the Terry Pratchett. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, but, but literally even every other person in the book literally raises an eyebrow and she's like, if you mention anything, I will stab you. <laughs> yeah. If you make a joke, I will kill you. <laughs> But this is coming from the perspective of a man called Moise von Lithwig. Mm. Amber Crane. That's a pretty good name. I have to go do research for this. I hate that for me. Uh. Nice one, Das. I need to do um, see more oak heart prep, but got a lot going on in my brain. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I think I said. Did I say maybe for this week? I think there's a good chance it's going to be a no from me. But I think you said a probably no. I said a probably no. Yeah, because basically, oh yeah. Spoilers for Thursday, guys. Um, I genuinely don't know if I will be streaming because, as part of the moving process, uh, Thursday is the day our internet gets cut off. Yep. Um, but they didn't specify a time, so I don't know. <laughs> Dash, you're welcome to be a problem for me in my DMs. I will not look at it until the stream ends, though. So yeah, it is exciting. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's exciting, but also ah. Um, I don't even know what we're going to do with the computers. The computers may well have been packed up by the evening. But yeah, with regards to stream, uh, Spook suggested that I wake up earlier uh, and start <laughs> and start streaming earlier and just go until the internet gets cut. Because <laughs> we don't might know, be a good idea. Because we actually. don't know what time the internet's going to get cut. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's like my stream will just end <laughs> abruptly. That's extremely funny, actually. Yeah. I also, but I am also having like a lot of fun with Guild Wars, so I would like do want to play Guild Wars. I'm close to getting my Sky Scale as well. My child. 
It was very cute because, like, literally to signify the next segment of the quest line of raising your dragon to be a mount that you can use, you get a letter from the person who's sort of like caretaking it for you while you go out and be a hero. And they were like, I don't know what the matter is. They're just so lethargic and like they don't want to play with their siblings. And I'm worried that they're unwell. And so you go, you read the letter and you go into the base and literally as you approach them, it just comes running at you and it literally <laughs> shoves your player model like you literally get like knocked over onto the floor and the player's like oh that explains it they missed you and i'm like oh <laughs> my dragon <laughs> child <laughs> yep i need to finish getting up today on the ff story i can't wait for you to there's get there's a the lot turtle. of shit going oh, on the siege turtle that is the name of the mount, the Siege Turtle. Love that. Guns. That's really funny. Yes. A never-ending stream of the Gen 3 main character in the back of a truck. <laughs> that was actually really funny. Rome roller. Oh, me, thank you. <laughs> right, goodbye, I quit. <laughs> See ya. Did I tell you this, Blue? That I found a massive, like, world-building thing for the old forest. <gasps> really? I love the yeah. old, I love the old forest. <laughs> I, I yeah. want to run it so bad. I really love the old forest. Yeah, I found a piece of, um... I was taught a piece of folklore. Oh. Um, that... I'm very excited to incorporate. Play my grumpy fox lady. It involves decking a man into the moon. Hell yeah, we love that kind of shit. <laughs> decking a capitalist into the moon. Yes, even better. <laughs> so. Even better. My lady has been stolen from and she wants her stuff back. <laughs> All that effort, <laughs> no one got it. F you. <laughs> I just love that the, there's now a running gag in this Pokemon game on my Twitch channel of Das doesn't have any Pokeballs. <laughs> love when there's running gags in a Twitch chat. That's just fun. Yeah. What we're here for.
a little bit quiet for you, chat. <laughs> The stumpy guy, you mean? Yeah, he's stumping. Sorry, I just discovered my academic nemesis in the royal. <laughs> oh. We're not getting into Joseph Campbell here. We don't bring him into this space. Hello, I don't want to talk good. about Thank it. Thank you for following. Welcome on in. That notification caught me off guard. I was like, what's happening? I was in it. I was in it. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> I had a notification noise in my ears and I was like, huh? Oh lord, I do be reading an academic paper on my time off. Heck. <laughs> Look at him go! Stop, 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 stop. Look at that. Jesus Christ, Blue. <laughs> He's stomping. It's nuts that you don't do more of this. <laughs> you know what the you know what the secret ingredient is? I'm being paid. <laughs> money, yes, the money will do that. Secret ingredient is I'm being paid, honestly. Well, no, but that's what I mean. <laughs> commission, commit, people commission more of this. You're very good at it. Thank you. A bit in the middle's moving though, I need to sort that. Um, not it's not finished animation because uh, I want the arms to move. This is literally just like so I've got Proof everything on, I've got everything on like separate layers here for like moving each individual part to make it easier, but this was literally a I'm gonna copy it all merged and put the frames in so I can see how it looks. Of course making me drink more water. You just watch me drink water. It's a health okay. Drink some more water. There it is. Where's my playback speed? Because the playback speed was a little bit fast. There we go. 
Yeah. What software are you using right now? This is um, a sprite, a sprite. Not one hundred percent on the pronunciation. I've only ever heard, familiar, I've me. only heard people say it as a sprite, but when I sit and read it, I'm like, there's an e between the s and the p. <laughs> right. So I'm like, a sprite. Who knows? A sprite. I say I don't know if it's like a sprite in the sense of like aesthetic. I don't know. Mm, yeah. But yeah, a sprite. Oh, excuse me. It's a great little program for spriting, especially. I've only been using it for like a week, and it's great. It's like, it's one of those things where a program that is specifically made for it is is better. It's like, yes, Photoshop is very powerful, but it wasn't made for spriting. You can make sprites in it, and I have done so. This is better. It's also infinitely cheaper. This is like, this is like 20 quid, this program, and it's wonderful. I love it. Oh, yeah. You know what's you know what's neat is like not only can you sit and preview the animation like this, but if you're making them like a sprite animation for a video game, a video game generally isn't going to use a dot gif. It's going to use the individual frames, and there's literally a thing here where I can go export <laughs> as take each frame. And yeah. Export as a sprite sheet, and look at that. It literally takes each individual frame and spits it out, and that is what a video game would use. And I'm like, oh, amazing. That's, that's so good. That's so Quality good. of life. Oh. So a symmetry tool that just toggles on and off with a button. My life. You see how I've utilized the symmetry tool? Yes. And possibly the best tool, which is... Uh, uh, where's it gone? I've forgotten which thing it's under. Gradient tool. Matrix. Look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Magic. El Magico. It's great. It's a great, great piece of kit. Also, it comes with a tool called the Jumble tool, which is just wonderful. Which is just great, yeah. It does what it says on the tin! It does a jumble. It does a jumble. Now, now it looks almost rusted. This is a neat effect. Yeah. We've learned something today. So yeah, it's a, it's a great little program. I've even tagged the stream with it so that it's list the name is there. Thanks for being here. Yeah. I was gonna say if you if you're at a good stopping point, we can always stop a little bit earlier. Maybe I might do some tweaking though. I can I can keep going. Yeah, we've got another fifteen minutes, so yeah. it's not a huge time.
Miracle. Nah, that's miracle. <laughs> I'll try for this one, I think. Just that Pokeball. It left you. You did not catch it. Ah. It knew. It knew that my motivation was unjust. <laughs> it my can sense your fear. My brain was like, if I catch this smuggle, I could wonder trade it and get something else. <laughs> and it knew. <laughs> it knew. being quiet and reading I'm very interesting that's okay we're, we're, the, the last half hour 15 minutes is always nearly silent it's the, the chill vibes I've learnt not to hate the buggy ball. Oh, you mean the roller beetle? I unlocked <laughs> the roller beetle and within a day, Den had sent me a skin for it and she was like, no one likes bugs, here's the motorbike skin. <laughs> At least in the Jahai Bluffs, yes. It is, it, I was fully prepared to unlock the roller beetle and never use it. It is actually a very useful mount, so. Good on Guild Wars for making every single mount viable. <laughs> every single mount has a place in that game. Because, my god, it is speedy boy.
<laughs> Dancing happily. He stomp. He stomp. He stomp. You completed the sentence in your head. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> Even though we've literally talked about how we shouldn't, I do feel better about not having done work yesterday because I did actually achieve a decent amount today because this is, this is good. Rest but, is part of the cycle. Yes. Of work. Um, where, well, I'm gonna. This is the thing. I'm gonna have mandated rest all next week because I will be without internet. So there's uh, there is almost basically no point in me doing work. But I'll have an entire house to set up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so the week not... before summer holiday. Oh god. <laughs> there's no point doing any work. <laughs> yeah, that was that was almost today. Of like, you know, I missed yesterday's stream. Thursday's stream is gonna be premature, and I'm just like, is, tu is Tuesday and Wednesday even worth it? But I was like, no, I will, f I will feel better in myself rather than sitting here. It's, we're gonna have our usual Tuesday, Wednesday, but it's gonna be real weird. Yes. <laughs> What is happening in chat? Hello, I'm being attacked on multiple fronts. It's normal. I see this. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. You've caught us right at the end. We vibing. I don't know why I did that in a very proper British accent. I think the first time I've ever looked at my following list on Twitch right at the end of the stream and see more people streaming now than there were when we started. Oh, interesting. No, normally it's fairly quiet. It goes down, yeah. There's eight, eight people I follow are streaming right now. I accidentally closed the incognito tab I was using to Oops. read the article, and now I'll never get it back. Nope, you'll never find that. That's fine. I kind of got the answers I needed. I was just reading for fun. Oh my god, one of the people that's streaming is Fahrenheit. We might actually be able to <laughs> rate it to them. What? <laughs> you remember that VTuber that I was like, I don't know why I follow them? Who has the, the moth VTuber? Oh yeah, the little moth. Because you were like terrified of the moth. Because I'm terrified of moths, I don't know why I follow a moth VTuber. But they're actually streaming <laughs> a raid into them. We We've been meaning to raid into them for weeks. Let's do... Uh, don't save, we're going to do another preview. Unless you have someone else. Now we could probably raid into that. We're just, uh, just gonna, I'm just gonna do a preview of this before we end. Still got a few. We still Ooh. got a, a, a handful of minutes. Literally two minutes. One minute. Das did, in fact, inflict psychic damage on me before they left. Oh, good. I just looked at my Discord. <laughs> Bones are so unhappy with me. She went on a walk yesterday with my brother. Ah, that would do it. And we, we kept getting further into the woods. And he was like, you want to go back? I was like, no, I can go a bit further. We went a bit more. 
So you want to go back? I can go a bit further. We got longer. I kept doing that. I was not paying attention to the fact that we were going downhill the entire time. So ah. when we had to go back, and it was just starting to rain, so we had to like hoof it. It was all like uphill, uphill. <laughs> like on a like slope. Like it's not a hill. It was like steep. Um, and my I have back issues and my legs and back hurt so much today. Oh no. They hurt so much. But it's been alright to be honest. It's not been too bad. I've been taking it easy. Doing lots of stretching. Good. Important. Do a reminder in chat if you haven't stretched your wrists out or your neck. Just take a second and really loosen up. Loosen up those muscles. Before you sleep. Make you feel better in the morning. Hey, there we go. A little stumpy boy. It's about the little details. And that's, and that's the stream, baby. Little ear wiggles, little movement of the nose ring and arms. Moving the legs is the bit that took forever. That's gonna freak the shit out of someone. It's gonna have a dude riding on top of it. That's what the shadow is. The shadow is moving, so I do need to tweak that as well. But like, we're basically there. It's gonna have a dude stood on top of it. Heckin... Where is he? This mad dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Video game characters. The... A ma mad, evil, possessed cowboy on the back of a mecha bull, and I was like, "Yep, yeah, sure, that's the, that sure is the prompt." Love it. There we go. All right. What's, what's the username of this person that I'm searching for? Uh, I'll send it to you. I swear to god if they're gonna end or if they're talking about something <laughs> no they're last week last week gameplay. i raided last week i raided into two people on separate days and they were both talking about their nether regions and i was like oh come on <laughs> no i can confirm fahrenheit is just playing games and the pronouns are they them. I found out. Hey, man, there we go. <laughs> we had a debate about this when they were offline and we were like, we what, are your pronouns? what are your pronouns? What are your pronouns? Please tell us your pronouns. But no, they've put it as a tag now. We're playing Rain World, which I've heard multiple people being like, hey, play this game. So that's interesting. You can say hey. Yeah, we'll go say hi. You a mysterious VTuber who appeared in my following list, who I followed for some reason. <laughs> Even though their VTuber is a moth, which I'm famously afraid of. Yeah. Everyone, go in and put your awoos. I'll be back here for tomorrow moves. for whatever we feel like. Because you guys can make up your damn mind. I'm going to catch this turtle. It's a turtle Pokemon as a pig. You can catch the turtle and then go raid. There you go. Go raid. Use your favorite emotes, all that jazz, and we'll see you tomorrow for Just say hi. What, whatever. Well, I'm gonna try to do more art in the afternoon, and then in the evening we'll do whatever. Yeah. So I'll go say hello. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for keeping me company tonight. I feel loads better. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.